Okay, gang, this is going to be the Weakland Supplemental. This is going to be called the, uh, yes, I know the video is getting darker right now. This is going to be called, you've heard of uh, Time to Make the Donuts. Well, this is Time to Change the Oil. And we didn't get a 13 socket, but I got my 13 wrench. And uh, one way. Why take that fucker up good? Thought I was gonna have to go get my other 13 wrench. It's a little longer. Give me a little more torque. Take this plug out of here and get the oil out of here. Now I did run the motor a little bit like you're supposed to, but it's still the yeah, the oil's not real. Oh, oh, maple it's syrup. It's, it's, maple enough. syrup. it's not quite maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, it is a little darker than it should be. We'll let that drain out. Now we got to figure out how. Now the oil filter is over here. I wish they'd find a way to make a camera so it can grab the smell too. Uh -huh. But I think I'm moving it anyway. Not very far, but I'm moving it. It's loosening! It's loosening! Yay! <laughs> So it's hope he isn't sticking his tongue out. I get that tongue out. I got that long tongue. It sticks right out there. Let's not get into that. The one thing I don't like about this truck is that it's it's got a uh, it's got fitted grease fittings. Ah! Sealed grease fittings. And I am going to have oil all down my arm here in just a minute. <laughs> Hold on. I, I can't move here. There we go. I'm going to have oil all down my arm here in this direct because I'm too late for that. I already see the oil coming out of the filter because I got it almost off. Uh, there's the oil. All over my arm. Where'd that rag go? Here it is. Oh boy, I'll tell you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you got that on tape, dude. You? This is my dad. Hitting his head on the tire of the truck. <laughs> he didn't know it was there. <sighs> Problem is now, the filter's all covered with oil. And it's too slippery. And it's too slippery, I can't even hold it. <sighs> They're talking about a black. <laughs> oh, that oil filter was black to begin with, so. Off. As you can see, I got more of it on my arm. My arm's all slicked up here. That's what showers are for. Alright. Now we gotta get the other filter ready to put back on. Now, if you're by chance watching this to figure out how to do it, yes, you gotta keep your finger in the oil. You always wanna use clean oil when you're using your new filter. Just take it. There's a rubber. There's a rubber seal right here. You want to put some fresh oil on that rubber seal. Help it seal up. Never gonna see it, but you put it back up in there. Look at that, man. My arms just shining. Look at that. Woo! -hoo! Can you imagine getting covered in that stuff and then wrestling in it? <laughs> that sounds like fun to me. Anyway, like yeah, Greg, don't threaten us with a good time. And make sure you put the cap back on your gallon of oil here. Actually, it's five quarts. Make sure you put the cap back on it, especially when you're working with a goopy son like Richie who might end up kicking it over. Like that. <laughs> or you might end up just dropping it yourself. Hey, hey, hey. What's the little? Ah, Now, we can't throw this away because we got it right on here. My electrolytes and stuff. Alright. Now we can go back on here. We got to stick it back up in there. back on. Off of. mm. This is not going to be easy. Well, that's a lot easier. It's a lot easier putting it on than it was taking it off. Let me tell you what. Because I can do it without even looking. I'd like to see you do that. Look at the camera and put the thing on. I can look at the camera and put it on too. Now all I got to do is put my wrench back up in there. Hey, get it on so it's hand tight. Oh. If you've never done it before, you get the filter on so it's hand tight. And then you put your wrench on and you turn it a quarter of a turn, no more. If you turn it any more, then it'll tighten up as you 
as the motor heats up, it'll tighten up on there. You won't be able to get the damn thing off, and there's no place to drive a screwdriver through it. And those of you who are mechanics out there who've done this, you know what I'm talking about, driving a screwdriver through it. All right. What did I do with my phone phone? Oh, right here behind my hand. Okay. Now, where did I put this out of? I don't know. Oh, whoops. I'll flip it over the other way. Alright. Got it on there. I gotta be careful because I don't know how far a quarter of a turn is because I can't turn it but a little bit. Because there's not enough room. So I'm just pull, barely pulling it with my finger to try and get it tight. There we go. Okay. I'm going to get to come back off there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There it goes. Works just like a puppy. You just got to whistle at it. Come okay, we've, uh, we've lowered the, the truck down off of the jack so that the rest of the oil from out of the oil pan. And as soon as you drop that, as soon as you drop that down, it'll start coming out pretty good. Again, you want to make sure you get all that dirty oil out of there. You don't want any of that dirty oil up. I wonder if they can hear me better, if they can hear the music better. That helps. This, this truck takes seven quarts of oil. It's unreal how many quarts of oil this damn thing takes. And this thing won't stand up in there. Stay. Sometimes you got to talk to it. All right. Oh, excuse me. This is the hard part. Try and control this and the phone without overflowing the. Uh, you can't even see the funnel now. The funnel. Because of that light over there. Have to come on the other side. Whoa! You can see it pouring out the end of the funnel. Huh? I don't mind it getting too full, just as long as it doesn't overflow. I don't know if you can see that in there or not. You can see that clean oil coming out of the bottom of that funnel. Huh? Oh, I think I overflowed the phone a little bit. Oh, listen to that. Another one bites the dust. Wasn't there a football team in Detroit that used to have that as their theme song? Yeah, they also did something with uh, Mickey Mouse. Yeah, but that's a Mickey Mouse football team, that's why. And we're draining that right out as much as we possibly can. Hopefully that'll stay in there somehow or another. Yay! We got it all without spilling too much. And uh, get some of this oil that we spilled off of here. It will get down onto the belt and make life hell on your belt, but that's what they make belt dressing for. Sure all right. Salad now that's five quarts. It's supposed to take seven. I think I put six in it last time, and I let it go. And never did put the other quarter until much, much later. I would do something. Yum, yum, yum. Actually, I can probably get away with this. Pull the dipstick back out here. Stay in there. Quartz are a little bit easier to handle, so I can get them to to pour in without spilling it all over. Well, I said all over. I didn't say I wouldn't spill it at all. <laughs> all right. 